In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the vintage collection Luke Skywalker in his Yavin fatigues. And I'm sure if you're watching this video for the very first time, you're wondering like me, who is on the back of this card? Hey there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. Today's video, as you can see, we're going to be taking a look at the Luke Skywalker Yavin Fatigues Vintage Collection. He is VC151. And before we get into this review, I do know that there's lots of you watching this right now that wants to see who is on the back of this card because on the back of this card, we have got the four figures from the next wave of the Vintage Collection that are going to be from Episode 9 along with a couple of other figures as well. They've changed the style of the back of the card. So just bear with me two seconds. We will be getting into the back of the card. But first of all, as usual, we're going to be taking a look at the front of the card and just examining that. So let's have a closer look at the front of the card. Okay, so as usual, we've got the nice Star Wars chase. We've got the Kenner logo at the bottom. Now this image is a little bit weird. It's a little bit like the Han Solo Stormtrooper uh, image in that it's quite grainy, almost looks painted. And I think the reason for that is because they've had to do a Photoshop job on it in terms of taking other people out of the shot. Um, so usually I think obviously in that scene, you've got some people behind and next to Luke and they've obviously Photoshopped them out. So it's perhaps that has made the image a little bit more grainy. But you can see there, close up on Luke's face, it's a, it is slightly grainy. And the only other card that I've seen that with recently has been the Han Solo Stormtrooper. There's a figure in the bubble. Obviously it is a repack of the Black Series figure. I'll just throw up an image of that Black Series figure so you can see. I don't actually have that Black Series figure. So when we open this bubble and get the figure out, unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to have them side by side. But obviously everyone that does have the Black Series version, you will be able to tell the differences. Obviously immediately we are gonna see that there is a difference to the head sculpt and the hair, and obviously the photo reel technology that they use on all of their figures these days. All right, so before we do go ahead and show you the back of this card, I'd just like to ask you if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button to help this video get out there. And also if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. All right, so why not let's build up the suspense a little bit here. And obviously on this row of figures, you can see that we do have a Sith Jet Trooper. So this is different to the actual Jet Trooper that we've seen in the five inch line that got revealed. This is a Sith Jet Trooper. So obviously, as you can see, he is of that crimson red color. Uh, but he does seem to look like he has the same style of helmet. It's very difficult to see because the images are so small. Obviously then we do have Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot. He's coming out on a single card. We obviously got that figure in the Luke Jedi Destiny 3 pack. There's your Boba Fett. He was a re-release of VC09. There's your R2-D2 uh, from the previous wave along with the best Stormtrooper that you can possibly buy. So moving on, let's have a look at the next character. And there we have Rey. So that is Rey in her sort of white outfit that we see in the trailers. And as you can see, she does have a blue lightsaber. Next up, we have Poe Dameron. Okay, so this is a repack again of the Black Series figure. He's just gonna be included in the next wave. The next figure we have is Zori Bliss. And just judging by this particular image, very small again, this looks like it's gonna be a lovely little figure there. So obviously we're gonna be waiting to see what she does in the movie. And the next figure is the Knights of Ren, or a Knight of Ren. And as you can see there, it is the one that we saw in that shot with JJ, but we only saw the back of him. And you can tell because of the uh, weapon that he's using there. And that to me looks a phenomenal figure. The paintwork um, on his robes and everything look like it's gonna be really, really nice. And the helmet looks great. Obviously I'm trying to get a zooming in as much as I possibly can for you, but they are small images. And then the last one there is the Luke Skywalker Yavin figure itself. Just to confirm, he is VC151. As I mentioned before, we've got the vintage collection logo there. We've got Disney and Hasbro at the bottom. Now obviously, as I mentioned before, they have changed the back of these cards and I much prefer this. So we've got more of the figures displayed on the back of the card. Obviously all the legal gum for the bottom as well. So there you go, that's Luke Skywalker. Yavin, we're gonna open up the uh, figure now and we're gonna take a look. 
All right then guys, so here we have Luke Skywalker in his Yavin Fatigues out of the package. And as you can see, facial sculpt is pretty much in line with what we saw from the Jedi Destiny 3 pack. Um, they've really, really sorted out the facial sculpt for Luke Skywalker in these recent figures. And obviously some really nice paint application on the head or on the hair rather. Um, so we've got sort of a mixture of mousy brown and blonde highlights there, which actually fits in quite well with the movie. You can see he's got his medal around his neck that is removable and I think it's really, really nice the way it sits just over his collar there on his jacket. The jacket is the right colour in my opinion. We did have a version of this figure in the 30th anniversary line and I think the, the jacket was too much of a gold colour. This is much more of like a pale yellow. And as you can see there he's got the stripes down his legs and his black boots. He comes with an accessory there which does fit ni fits nicely in the holster and that is very, very reminiscent of the layer blaster and that just goes nicely into that holster there as you can see I thought just to give you a nice close-up look of the figure now I have seen online some people have been saying that the figures out of proportion and they haven't fixed that in that he's got uh, his arms are too long so I'll just put them down there by their sides and you can be you can be the judge of that uh, but I quite like him with his arms behind his back like that and then it doesn't seem too bad and then you get to see his holster on his leg which is very nice in terms of articulation he's got pretty much everything apart from ball jointed hips so he's obviously got a ball joint on the head he's got ball jointed shoulders elbows swivel wrists as I mentioned he does only have the swivel hips but he does have swivel at the waist he's got ball jointed knees and nothing on the ankles so they haven't done the ankles I know that the black series figure didn't come with a hinge in the ankles and they haven't rectified that so we don't have that on this figure for anyone that was asking me when I revealed the image of this figure uh, that was the other day uh, so there you go, that's Luke Skywalker. He does come with one other accessory and that is the lightsaber hilt. Pretty standard lightsaber hilt with the little black markings down the bottom. Looks pretty nice. Um, the black series figure came with a full lit lightsaber. So I don't really feel there's too much loss there at all on that. And of course that accessory there of the lightsaber hilt attaches to his belt with a little peg hole which looks great just under his jacket there. So you can have both the blaster and lightsaber accessories attached to the figure at all times. For anyone that's wondering, I managed to get this figure from a website called Comics and Cocktails. They're a retailer in the UK here that sell action figures basically. Um, and for some reason it just appeared on their website one day, the other day. So I snapped it up. They also had it on their eBay site as well. Um, they pretty much sold out in minutes. So uh, shout out to them for putting it up so early for us. And obviously the best thing about getting this figure, not only is it a good figure to have, but it also shows us what those figures are gonna look like in the next wave. And the ones obviously that we're gonna be getting on Force Friday. Obviously I can't wait for Force Friday. It's gonna be really, really good to get those figures in hand. And as you would expect, I will be getting hold of those figures and I will be reviewing them for you. So then guys, thank you very much for watching. That is it for this video. I do appreciate you tuning in. I hope this has been good to see those figures on the back of that card and to see this figure. As I mentioned, thank you very much for watching and we shall see you on the next one.